Hey Bless, stay blessed, what's good? Bless family, back with another video. Today's video is gonna be a little story time for y'all. As y'all know, we go to Six Flags a lot. Yeah, we do be at Six Flags and there's vlogs on the channels that y'all seen before. But before we get into today's video, if you're new to the family, first time you're visiting, next time you're family, go ahead and just click the subscribe button. Join the Bless family, you just seen it pop up. It's also to the bottom of your screen. It's red, turn it to gray. And then before we get into today's video, if you woke up this morning, means God bless you, family. Let's go expand the like button, show love to the like button, man. Touch the like button. So we're gonna we're gonna take it back. Rewind about two, three years. I don't even know how long it is it's really been. I was talking to this girl a while back and we was chopping it up. We was like making moves and stuff throughout the time that we were talking and going out and stuff. So it was cool. So we made a plan to go to Six Flags as a like a big group. You know, she was gonna come with yada, yada, yada. And we had a great time. You know, when you're talking to somebody, bro, and you're thinking that things are gonna progress or whatever. So like you trust them with certain things Ooh. like securing like a venue for like a plan. For example, you go into Six Flags and you need one account to buy the, the, the season passes and stuff like that, or the tickets. He's handling all that business and you just saw some the money. And it's cool because y'all are just talking and stuff like that. So there is no issue about like who's paying for what. So that's the type of stuff that it was. You know, fast forward into the future, we not talking no more. Uh, you don't have to get the money back from old girl just because like, I can't let you sit with that. <laughs> Bro, we not talking no more, bro. Like, you know, see the passes be like 80 to 100. All right, hold on. So for him to like, you know what I'm saying, explain the story a little bit. What he mean by that is we was in a group setting. She paid for the ticket. So take my on her account. So the problem that we was having when we first pulled up to that first event, you know what I'm saying? I had a girl there, basically like a triple date, except for that last girl. Did she have a guy? I don't remember. No, she did have that guy. It was that hood dude. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It was basically like a triple date, you feel me? So we pulled up there and apparently, I think it was, it was all of us, all of us, all our passes were messed up. So apparently in Georgia, bruh, you can't just buy a six flag pass. It has to be six flags over, over Georgia. Georgia. Huh? Instead just of just six flags. It's a technicality, it's just BS. The crazy thing is you could use that pass at other states, but it has to be over, it just doesn't make sense, right? So when you sign up, it was weird. It either says United States or- No, it's like United, it's like, the, it's like United States. United or like States something or something. Like America, America, or America, yeah. 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 Six Flags America. We was having trouble with the passes. They like, yo, like y'all got the wrong passes. Y'all got to switch it over. We look over into the line and the line is deep. deep. And I, deep. I think deep. Six Flags is only open for like five hours. If y'all ever been to Six Flags, y'all know y'all waiting at least 30, we 30 minutes in each line. We spent the money. We got the ticket, bro. You know we got a Six Flags pass. Just let us in the yeah, park. Bro. That's fact. So then we get through. We finally get in the line. We make it up there. We chill. You with your girl. It's not that big of a deal. We get up to the front. We fix it. Facts. Or at least that's what they say. We get up there, we they go in the system, whoop de whoop. They say they fixed it. We're able to get in the park this time. So everything cool after we fixed it. Long story short, Melo and his girl not talking no more. Actually, it's the same for both of us. Facts. We not talking no more to the girls that we brought up to that, brought up to Six Flags. We get up to the gate. I fixed mine a long time ago because I had went with, with the girl again, like at a different time, fixed mine. Everything was Gucci on my side. Melo never went back there in that time period. But then we pulled up together come, I think it's like summer 2020. We pulled back up to Six Flags and Melo car tweaked. Yeah, the car was tweaking, bro. Like they just, they did not want to let me in. They never, they never fixed his car. You know what I'm saying? So, so I think what it was is that like, they were saying that, oh, yada, yada, yada. You got to refund it to get a new season pass, all this other stuff. So here's what we did. So we were at Six Flags. We, we, we go to Six Flags pretty often. So we was at Six Flags again. The pass was tweaking. So I was we like, was I was just like, yeah, we was vlogging. And the video is actually up. Y'all can go check it's it out. Like we got know. we got stuck on a um, roller coaster. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, whatever, bro. I'll just get a new season pass. So I'm buying the season pass, and it's like everything cool. I'm telling the I'm telling the, the lady worker about the whole situation about like what happened in the past about why my pat my old pass was tweaking. She's laughing. We all chopping it up. But I think she was having too much fun because she didn't really register like the Six Flags pass she to never, me. She never she, activated his car, the new car that he just bought. Like facts. This facts. Money on. The thing was, like in the video, I don't know if we cut out most of it. We were explaining to her, like, if we was talking to old shoddy. We not talking no more. You know what I'm saying? So like, how can we figure this we out? We were talking to the manager too. Yeah, I think. Yo, the yo, manager, yeah, the manager pull up. So it's like, how we figure this out? You know what I'm saying? Without my boy spending more money, because it's not about the money. We had the money. It was just, it's like, just you're like you're not trying. To, it's the principle. You're not trying to like, pay 160 for a six month. The principle. So, so, long story short, yeah. you, didn't, you didn't even talk to that girl for a minute. 
it was a minute you had hit her up after yeah. this whole encounter yeah so like long story short they got he had to pay for another pass you know what i'm saying another little clean 80 off the pocket so he's like yo like his other pass was still valid so he's like let me text old girl because i was like you just go ahead and text her ask her for the money so I'm facts like, yeah you, you go ahead so i asked her for the money and her being the good samaritan bro she sent back the money it took a while but she sent back the money <laughs> she sent back the money um, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then we still kind of ended on like, I don't know if he turned back then too, cause I don't know, it was just, it was different vibes. It was more on her. It, yeah, it, it was yeah. more on her. I tried my best to keep it casual or keep it pushing, but, but it is what it is though. That's all in the past is whatever. So he gets the new pass. Like you, we said, old girl was, I guess she thought we was cute cause she was just talking to us, but never activated my boy pass. You know what I'm saying? So somehow we, no, nah, sometimes when we got up to the thing that time, they said it was tweaking them, but they let us in anyway. Back. We said we just came yeah, we, from call. Yeah, we was like, we just came from over there, bro. We so, let you see the pass. They let us let in. Us go. We did that whole whoop de whoop, have fun at Six Flags. Like we said, we do go a lot. We do like Six Flags. It's like, it's not really a move that we planned. It's more of like, a, oh, we ain't got nothing else to do. Let's slide to Six Flags. So, you know what I'm so just keep in mind all the times that like, you hear all this BS going on and how many times we was at woke call and dealing with tickets and stuff. Keep a mental note of how many times we're talking to these people. So, so yeah. So, we, then, so then we go, so now we get in that time. Another time we pull up, this time we pull up with a big group of our boys. We have all of them order the cards. Like everybody ordered the they card. All, we all good to go, bro. It's all, it's all new. It's like a big group. We're like, yo, we pulling up six sides. We be going a lot. Y'all go ahead and buy some cards. So all our whole group, it's like eight of us. We all got cars you know what i'm saying we all go to pull up Melo just bought his not too long ago probably like four months prior actually should we tell him by the time we pulled up in G uh, georgia tech rented out the whole park oh, oh yeah we put up to one time we put up to the the parks bro and georgia tech just decided to have a day that they let all their students come for free at this at the park and only they could get in which was crazy because there was no incentive for it first of all georgia tech's record football record was it's, zero it's and three busted. at the time busted zero and three at the time and it's time. still busted it was a random i think school just started so they ain't hit any incentives they were like, just being generous to them that yeah bro so apparently i guess they have a day like that so we went there that time couldn't get into the park we had to come up with another move we was out in atlanta that night that was the night that yeah was oh yeah and we slid on our board Boy spot yeah it was pretty chill but back to you know what i'm saying so we we had the we had the park we got our big group of guys we walk in everything smooth we talking about how we're gonna have a great time but i get up to the dirt dude dude hey you gotta go to will call your thing's not working i said no so hey the, the, no. thing, the thing is i had i had went first i went through already so if y'all know about six flags once you scan your card like you can't scan it again in that day so i i walked through already so i so i hear the do do i turn around i look and it was like no i'm wilding bro because the lady's just sitting down on her little bench bro she see a big group like we came prepared bro. like, like you see you see the card i got my login information on the app like you think i would have this app if I didn't go to six flat, like, come on. So she's talking about, no, you gotta go get it fixed. I don't know what's going on. Don't get mad at me. I was like, no, this shit's not working. You know what I'm saying? Yada, yada, yada. Second time we come back to Six Flags, they trying to give me some type of rundown, bro, about how it wasn't working. And at the time, I didn't know nothing about like what was really going on with the past. I just knew that I just got it about like less than a month ago. And here I am again, and y'all telling me something about a past that I just bought. So I'm not trying to hear nothing about what's coming out their head talking about something it's not scanning it's not going through so i was talking to the lady and i was just like look bro i just paid for this shit like last month like not even a month ago he said we got it on video the receipt. yeah we have it on video like i can show you this video she was just like she's hearing me i guess she sees the people in the line and everything like that so she's just like whatever you can go through so we cool then i guess two more and like the niggas behind us bro they must have thought that it was all fun and, and it I was, was all cool to like slide through with us too because i was already in so it was four days right so what happened was after Melo got let in our rest of our boys are still outside. There's like a whole bunch of like adults. The lady get up to go get something. I think she forgot. She forgot something. She needed something. She left. She closed the gate, but then locked it. Me and my little Mello's walking up to me talking. The three, I, I'm looking. The three guys behind Mello look. See that the lady dips, open up the gate. Like, I want to say like five people slide through hella quick. They they slide through the, yo, fuck the pass, man. We, we in. So they they come through. They come through real quick. And in the midst of that, take in mind, there's a lot of cops around us, right? But we I, I didn't see the cops at the moment. The only reason why I know there was a lot of cops because they popped out pretty quick. So what happened was some nigga from like, we're in already. A nigga behind us that's like diagonal. He goes, yo, you. Yeah.
he starts running down, he he point he points at all the guys that just came in, right? He's like, no, no, y'all didn't y'all didn't get scared. You, you, you. And then that nigga gonna turn to me and say, you. I said no. I said, I said no. Stop all that, bro. We not gonna be doing this again, bro. Like I just talked to old girl. She said I was straight. She was like, nah, come with me. I was like, get your hey, hand hey, off me, hey, man. Hey, so so take it by. So Melo, that's that's what Melo going through right now. I'm in my head like I know Melo didn't get his pass scan because did, the lady, the lady did, let him. The through. man put his hand on my shoulder and was like, nah, come with me. I said, so, nah, get your hand so, off so, me, bro. So, so, so look, so this <laughs> is so Melo, Melo's about to like sock mm -hmm. this dude. So I'm, I'm in my head. I'm like, nah. So in my head, I'm looking for the lady, but at the same time, as this guy, one, of, this is not a cop yet. This is like a six flag employee. <laughs> bro, he's he got his like, hand on his thing. So as, as that me, happened bro. and as Melo's like wiling on the dude, a cop roll up. So as the cop roll yeah. up, it sounds dangerous what I did, but as the cop roll up, the, then the cop puts the on his other shoulder, the hand on Melo's <laughs> shoulder. And as soon as that happens, I put my hand on the cop shoulder. <laughs> 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 We all, but we all, we all got hands on somebody, bro. Well, listen, something going down, but we all coming down, so, bro. Like, so, so, like, I, so I put my hand on the cops. I'm like, nah, bro. The lady scared him in. So in the midst of all this going on, we arguing with the cops, and then the cops like, no, bro. Like, no, and then and then the lady, you need to, you know, no, bro. We not doing all this, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we got a no tolerance, up. no tolerance. No tolerance. As soon as the lady, as soon as the lady walk out, I go, yo, 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 yo. And she's like, yo. she's like, she's like, yeah, they are good. Yeah. All of a sudden, the cops so, and the security guard won't be all friendly. All oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. We, we didn't know. We we didn't know. He looked at us, man. Guess what he said? He looked at us and said, "It's because you're wearing all black." <laughs> what? Because we're, we're wearing all black. we're wearing all black, bro. Why? Bro, so that's the sole reason why you targeted us? Because we was wearing black. How racist. The crazy thing is, like, Melo, like himself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The crazy thing is that Melo was so mad that Melo didn't have the camera out during this. That none of this was recorded. But bro. but if you watch the video, you hear us talking about how the security guard, you know what I'm saying, messed around and all that shit happened. And we did and the lady like, yo, no, they good, they good. Like I already knew I was good because the lady scanned my pass. I was trying to make sure Melo didn't go back out so they could check because she never scanned it because she was like, you know what, just go in. She was fucking with it, you know what I'm saying. So it so I so then our boys get in everything is smooth for the rest of the night and shit like that. That's pretty much the story. Yeah, bro. that's that's the gist of the story, bro. It's we came back like we came back another time and then Melo had to go back to Will Call again and come. Yeah, that's when yeah, we there was a real problem with the with yeah, the car. And that's yeah. when we figured out the lady never like activated it. But that Facts. this shit was crazy. We almost got kicked out of Six Flags, you know, lifetime ban on us type of shit, but. You know what I'm saying? A little quick story time for y'all, bro. Something about that. Man, if you enjoyed it, man, y'all put a like on the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe for more story times. There will be more story times. Like we say in all videos, man. Stay blessed until next time.